man, you guys, welcome. Thank you for tuning in to a new episode of Max's Best Bootcamp TV. You know, whether this is your first time watching the show or you've seen a bunch of our episodes, I actually came up with this show because I haven't found any fitness shows that are actually really doing you guys right. And so I said, you know what, I'm gonna come up with this show that no matter what fitness level you're at, if you're an advanced uh, fitness person, you've just been you're killing it in the gym for years, or you're just starting out, or you're stepping things back up, you will benefit from this show. Okay, so all kinds of fitness tips, workout tips, uh, fitness advice, healthy recipes, and we're gonna have fun doing it together. Um, now, the first thing I wanna talk to you guys about is a new segment that I've added to the show, and this segment is called Fitness Myths Busted. <laughs> Okay, so look, the fitness myth that we are totally busting today is all about your abs, okay? And the myth is crunches and sit-ups are the best way to flat abs. This is a total myth, okay? And I know that you're still thinking that you need to go and do those before your workout, during your workout, after workout, you gotta do like 1,000 crunches, and uh, that's all you need to do to, to really see that six-pack come through. The truth of the matter is, one, they are not safe. You can talk to any chiropractor and they will tell you how horrible they are for your back and your neck. And every time I used to do them back in the day when I thought they were good too, I fell for it. Um, you know, I would always come out and I would just feel it more in my back and my neck. And you know, that's not what you're trying to work. Um, so in all exercises, really to be honest with you, all exercises, if you do them wrong, can injure you. But even if you do sit-ups and crunches right, you're not strengthening the core as much as you actually think, okay? And the other thing is crunches and sit-ups are horribly inefficient, okay? We are so busy, you guys. We are so busy. We're busier than ever, okay? And so when you want to get into that gym and get your workout session in, if you're going to waste your time doing, you know, if you're going to be there for an hour and you do 10 minutes, and God, that's a boring 10 minutes, right, uh, of crunches and sit-ups, um, you're gonna burn about two to four calories per minute. That means even if you did abs for 20 minutes, two calories a minute, let's average three. Let's just go on the high side. Three in 20 minutes, that's 60 calories you just burned in 20 minutes. That is horribly inefficient. If your goals are fat loss and weight loss, you need to go for big bang exercises, okay? Compound movements. And what's a better way to really strengthen your core? Uh, well, planks are fantastic. We do all kinds of plank variations at the boot camp. And while we would not base an entire workout on doing planks or core exercises, it's a good thing to supplement in to your workouts. Uh, the other thing is crunches and sit-ups are, like I said, so boring, okay? Every second that goes by, <laughs> one, two, okay? So uh, really boring, really boring. Never like doing them. And you know what? You can just ban them right off your list. Um, and what kind of workouts should you be doing? Uh, you can incorporate, like I said, different plank variations. Um, it's really important that you know how to do exercises right, so proper form, very important. Uh, I would recommend seeking out a professional trainer to show you and give you the basics on how to do uh, planks and cool variations properly. And also, you know, search on YouTube, there's a lot of good stuff. Um, so that myth of doing crunches, you could do a thousand crunches and sit-ups, you're not gonna see those abs. You know why? You've got to burn the fat that's in front of them to see them because everybody has abs. We got to burn that fat off the body. And that's what high intensity training is all about. And we're going to get into that a little bit later into the show. But you know what? That myth, sit-ups and crunches, totally busted. You can just ban those from your workouts and substitute in those planks. Way better, you guys. Awesome. Hey, into our next segment, you want to know what kind of awesome workouts you can do to burn fat? Well, I created an awesome 10 minute workout that you can do. All you need is one dumbbell, just like this, and you can do this at the comfort of your home or at the gym. Check out this total body fat burning workout. If you want to get toned to hit the beaches this summer, then this workout is for you. All right, you guys, check it out. This is a total body fat burning workout. It's a high intensity workout and it's in a circuit fashion. 
All you need is a dumbbell, a timer, and make sure you have some water nearby because we are going to be huffing and puffing through this thing. The heart rate is going to be cranking and we're going to melt some serious fat off the body. Here's how it's going down. This is going to be a high intensity circuit. We're going to do five exercises for 50 seconds each. 10 second transition period in between each exercise. Once we finish our first round, we're gonna go right back through it again for a total of two times through, 10 minutes, and you're gonna to be totally official for the day. I'm gonna go through this thing with you in real time, and we're gonna get into it right now. All right guys, here we go. Let's get ready. Grab that dumbbell, right hand. Clean and press, go. From the ground to the shoulder, back down. Ground, shoulder, overhead, back down. Keep breathing, keep moving. Now, if you're more of a beginner, you're gonna use a light dumbbell, somewhere 10 to 20 pounds. As you advance, you can use anything from 25 to 75 pounds. But remember, we're trying to keep it metabolic, so we want to be able to crank out a good amount of reps per station. We're staying all right side, Right now, good, couple more, keep breathing. And when you get it to the shoulder, very important that you dip and drive it overhead. Use some leg power, time. Okay, good. All right, we got a 10 second transition in between each one. Heart rate's already starting to come up. Get a little workout lather going here. Down to the ground, next move. One push up, roll it over. One push up. Roll it over. One push up, roll it over. Now, if you don't have push ups on your toes, you're gonna go ahead and drop down onto the knees, do your push up, back into the plank position, and as you roll it, we're gonna try and fight the rotation, okay? Now, if you don't, your core is not gonna be getting any stronger. That would look something like this, where you're shifting the hips around. So, what we're gonna try and do is lock the legs out, stay tight through that core. As you go to that pass, try and fight the rotation. Ah, good. Ah. Last one. Arms are starting to burn good. Core is lit up. Nice. Come back up. Shake it out, take a deep breath. Now we're going into the clean and press on the left side, left side only. Three, two, one, go. From the ground, up. And I'm gonna show you a side profile on these next couple. Notice, no rounding of the back. As we come to grab the weight from the ground up, gonna clean it, power from the legs. From here, dip and drive it. Whew. Bicep in line with the ear, bring it back down. As you go to punch it back down, back stays flat. None of this stuff, okay? Then you're gonna hurt the back. We can't afford an injury. We're gonna do a lifestyle, baby. You can focus on that good form. Nice. Now as you fatigue, that will get harder to maintain. Nice, a couple more. Last one. Time. Okay. Deep breath. Oh, this thing's starting to kick in good. Heart rate's up. We're going back down to the ground. Push up, pass. Nice. I'm gonna show you a side profile on this one. Okay. A little wider of a stance, all the way down to the ground, roll it, and we're looking for that long body line from my ear to my ankle. Nice line right there. None of this stuff, okay? And certainly nothing here. We're gonna keep that core tight as we do the push up, all the way to the ground, and again, fighting that rotation. Now, if you can't go to the ground with your push up and you're only doing half reps, you're better off going to the knees like this, okay? All the way down, back up, go on the toes. But not me. Stay on the toes. One more. Ah. Time. Come back up. All right. Last move on round number one. This is a crazy move right here. This is a combo, you guys. We're gonna go foot fires on the side. Okay, go, foot fire. For a three count. One, two, three, jump over three times. One, two. Three, sprawl to the ground, no hands. 
no feet. Back up, foot fire. One, two, three, three jump. One, two, three. Back down. Sprawl, no hands, no feet. Some great core work on the ground. Now, whoa, we got the foot fire. One, two, three. Hey, you know what? You lose count and you mess up, don't worry about it. You gotta keep moving, that's the key. Down, no hands, no feet. Back up. Okay, foot fire. One, two, three, jump in. One, two, three. Now if the jump is too much, you can kind of march over it like this three times. Just keep moving. Down, sprawl, back up. Woo! Oh man, that was just one round. We're gonna go back up to the top with the clean and press. Deep breath. Go. Right side. Give it a try. Now you guys, that's why these exercises and these workouts are so effective. They really tax your body, and there's no way you can keep this kind of intensity up for an hour or more, okay? It's short, quick, intense, and everybody's intensity is different. My high intensity is different than your high intensity, is different than her high intensity, but the key is you've got to push to get the most of these workouts. Man, I'm feeling it already. One more. From the ground to the shoulder. Overhead. See that straight line right here? Nice. Time. Put it down. All right. Deep breath, I'm sweating right now. You guys are doing this right here with you. Because I love you. Back down, push up, roll. One push up. One roll. Like the rotation. Woo! Man, this thing's really kicking in. I'm feeling the fat just melting off. Deep breathing. When you need a rest, you push the button for a second. Okay, and then get back in there. Keep moving. Remember, this is only a 10 minute workout. We've got to push. Arms are burning. I got 15 seconds. Ah, let's go. Let's go, team. Come on. You gotta get in there. Ah, and time. Whew. Shake it out. Nice. Oh man, summer's coming. We're gonna get on that beach and we're gonna be looking our best. You keep those goals in mind as you fatigue. All right, left side clean and press. Go. Nice. Try and keep the path of this dumbbell on one clean line. Shoulder, back down. And we like to say, when you get it to the shoulder, dip and drive it, okay? Little dip and drive it. That's gonna help get some more power from the legs and not tax your arm as much. And that's how we get that total body involved. When you press it overhead, check it out. These obliques right here are going nuts. Those side abs, I know you want those to come out. Who last one. Ah, time. All right, last two. We're gonna bring it home. You got two minutes left. And man, I am breathless right now. It feels so good to be alive. Back down, push up roll. Whew. Fight the rotation. Take a little wider stance if you need to. Push up, roll. You're either on the toes or on the knees right now. Boom. All the way down, all the way up. You need a rest. Push the butt up for a second. And then get back in there. Let's go. 15 seconds. A couple more. Woo! One more. Go all the way down. Push. Time. Nice. Ah. Woo! All right. It's your final minute burnout right here. We're gonna crank through it. Foot fires on the side. Go. One, two, three. Jump it or march it. Let's go. Two, three. Yeah. Back up. 
foot fire. Turbo on the feet. Three seconds. Jump in. Nice soft land. On those jumps, we gotta protect the joints. When you land, you're gonna drop into it a little bit. So you can protect those knees and back. Sprawl. Back up. Woo! Okay, 20 seconds. Let's go. Let's go jump with the crunch. You're like a ninja. Ha! Ha! Ten seconds to go. Two, three, one, two, three. Toe the body. It's burning. Sprawl. Come up. Ha! Time. Oh man, you guys. Awesome job. Give yourself a pat on the back. You got that thing in. And that was a 10 minute total body high intensity fat burning workout that you can do at home or at the gym. And you know, if you don't think that 10 minutes is long enough, you can go ahead and add in another round or two of that. Be my guest, okay? Hope you guys enjoyed that. Make sure to stay consistent with your workouts and your diet. Have a great rest of the day, you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Oh, killer workout right there. Hey, and did you know, just sitting on the couch watching that burns absolutely zero calories. Okay, so that was actually the entire workout right there for you guys, that full 10 minute workout. I did that with you so that you can go ahead and put that workout in your back pocket and go ahead and pull that out, put that on your phone and get that thing in wherever you are. Okay, you just need that dumbbell and a little extra motivation. Nice. Now, the other part of really keeping in that fat burning mode once you do awesome workouts like that is what's going in the mouth, okay? And we love giving you uh, healthy food advice on the show. And actually, I've teamed up with my friend, Alicia, and we came up with this awesome recipe for protein waffles. Check it out. Lego my ego, forget about it. Today, we're making waffles. That's right, you guys. Today we're doing waffles and we're doing them. They're totally clean eats, totally approved. Uh, we came up with this recipe because sometimes you guys are looking for something different besides maybe a smoothie for breakfast or eggs. Um, and this is a way to clean out your breakfast and get something really tasty and that you thought you could never eat again. All right, you guys, here's the recipe. Alicia's got you covered. Check it out. And all the ingredients are max approved. We've got half a cup of almond milk, two eggs, half a cup of protein powder, the toasted almond flavor, that's kind of my favorite, some vanilla, and some butter, baking soda too. To get started with our waffles, the first thing we need to do is mix together all of the wet ingredients, then we'll put together the dry ingredients in a separate bowl, and then pour the wet into the dry and mix it all together. So we'll whisk together our two eggs, our half a cup of almond milk, a quarter teaspoon of vanilla, and three tablespoons of butter. Onto the dry ingredients. You put half a cup of your toasted almond protein powder, or whatever protein powder you have on hand, a half a teaspoon of baking soda, and a pinch of salt. Now we put the wet into the dry and whisk. And now we make the waffles. Depending on your waffle maker, you really don't need to coat it with oil, but it makes it just a little bit more crispy, so that's what I do first. Then I pour in about a half a cup of the batter and let it do its thing. Oh yeah. Oh, that looks good right there. There it is. Nice job. All right, you guys, a couple of things about this recipe to take note of. One, it is totally approved, okay? And some of you might be thinking, Alicia, the butter in this recipe? Yeah, and you know, fat does not make us fat. Too many calories make us fat, okay? And also, a lot of the processed foods, and butter is actually a real food. If you have a dairy allergy, um, or you prefer using coconut oil, that's a great option, okay? The other thing is, we're using my brand of protein powder. If you don't have that available to you, go ahead and use your favorite brand. Um, and one more thing, some of you may not have yet invested in a waffle maker, but you can get them for $20, $30, no problem. And uh, this recipe is worth it alone. 
You know, these waffles are beautiful, Max, but I feel like something's missing. And we're not doing any of that syrup, you guys, so don't even think about it. We actually came up with a really cool topping. Check it out. So for our topping, we need a third of a cup of coconut cream and a quarter teaspoon of vanilla. But here's the key, guys. It's gotta be full fat, unsweetened coconut cream that you've put in the refrigerator for at least a couple hours, even better, overnight. That way, you don't have any added sugar and you get the right texture. Just put the two ingredients in a bowl or a blender and whip it. Whip it good. Once you've got nice soft peaks in your whipped coconut cream, you're good to go. Just put a dollop on your waffle, throw on some berries, and it's time to eat. All right, you guys, well look, these are absolutely delicious. We hope you enjoy it and like that recipe. Have a great rest of the day. We'll see you next time. Yum, how good do those look? And uh, we tasted those uh, for sure right after that shoot, you guys, delicious. Uh, so we hope you enjoy that recipe and all the other ones that we've come uh, made up for you. Uh, they're really great because sometimes we just need these foods like waffles. You thought, hey, I'm trying to eat clean. I could never eat a waffle on this clean eating diet. Well, you know what? Those are totally approved. Um, so you can go ahead and give those a shot. Hope you like them. Now. Uh, we're going to transition into our next segment on the show, which is where I go into local grocery stores like Whole Foods, Costco, Trader Joe's, okay? And I, you know, I run into people all the time, people that sometimes I don't know them at all, and sometimes, you know, they're my, my clients, okay? And that's when it really gets, gets good. So, and that's what happened here. Check it out. It's Cart Raid. buddies here you guys busted on the cart check now I do see some veggies here what are you doing with the sugar it's organic sugar though yeah it's organic brown and apples you're gonna do like a apple bake or something yeah the apple crumbs is that approved by your trainer no no but there's pecans there's pecans yeah yeah and what else are you shopping for today um we're making a pastina a what pastina pastina what is that? Not a from my trainer. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is terrible. <laughs> now, but you guys aren't going to eat this like every day. Like, no, no we're making it for dinner tomorrow. Uh, some apples, that's a great snack. Yeah. Approved, thumbs up. Mm. Okay, awesome. Yeah. All right, guys, I'll let you go. Thank you. Thanks, good to see you. Uh, I have other people that... Vitamix is here. Woohoo, Vitamix is in the house. Every day, I use it every day. We're here till Wednesday. Oh, nice. Uh, what's in the what's in the blender? Soup. Yeah, but what? Cook it up some vegetable tortilla soup. Make that is there tortilla in there? Garlic. This is the famous vegetable tortilla. No, we don't soup. need any of those tortillas though. You could do it without it probably. Are you videotaping? Yep. Make sure you tell them that I'm the demonstrator going to Hawaii. You're going, I'm going to Hawaii. Win our Hawaii contest. I'm not I was the lead. I just lost my lead for Hawaii. I gotta sell some more machines. I gotta have it. Oh, wow. I've been the top performer for March and April. And I need to. I just lost my You guys my, thinking about getting one? My edge. Yeah. Oh, it's fantastic. Worth the investment. It's, uh, you know, you get what you pay for a blender, you know? <laughs> you, hey, I know. You buy a vitamin, you're not buying another blender. Well, I've probably had mine never, for like 10 years. But at least really? 25 yeah. to 35 years. Oh, yeah. Hey, and have a great day. And they'll save you money. You awesome. pay this once, pay for yourself over and over and over. I guess she thought I was going to think that the tortilla soup was approved, but mm, not great. Uh, Vitamix, definitely worth it, you guys. I use it all the time. If you're thinking about a blender, that's a great Oh, choice. we're doing a card check. Olivia, you're busted. All right, what do we got in the card here? Okay, rotisserie chicken. See, now that's that's good because sometimes if you don't feel like cooking, you have the, um, you know, the chicken there. We have bananas, lettuce, good. What is this here? Lean cuisine. Now these, not approved because these things are loaded with sodium and all kinds of different preservatives, right? And the bread, who's eating the bread? 
Uh, Chloe. Chloe, okay, it's always for the peanut butter. It's always for the, the little one. And we have a huge bag of rice down here. That can feed an army. That's always good. <laughs> That's the best rice. Uh, tomatoes, rice. good choice. Good choice. Oh my god, that's Now, a instead rice. of the rice, what's a better uh, starch choice, you guys? Wine. Wine, perfect. <laughs> Don't listen to the man. He's just kidding. Uh, sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes would be a great choice. Yes. Uh, maybe some carrots, peas. Those are, those are some good starches. Um, other than that, we do have some good whole foods in here. I love buying these romaine lettuce. You can use it as like a wrap. So, all right, guys, thank you for doing a little cart check. Thank you. All right, have a great day. Oh man, I uh, love. I'm at the grocery store all the time because I, I love to uh, cook and um, and kind of pick out the food, hand pick the food. Um, but I do run into people all the time, and like you saw, uh, now that rotisserie uh, tip right there, that is a good go-to because I have clients that say, "Hey Max, I just don't like cooking. I don't even have time, and I'm not going to cook." If that's the case, getting that rotisserie chicken, you can break that thing apart when you get it. Get two of them, and you have it in the fridge ready to go so this way you don't have to say oh, I'm gonna order the takeout or you know go get the pizza because you don't have anything you don't feel like cooking so that is a good go-to uh, move and then hey why is it that every time I bust somebody in their car it's always for somebody else they're like no that's for my husband or like that's for my kid it's never for them right so um, why is that uh, maybe it's not totally true um, but you know, we could all do a better job of, of cleaning out what's going in the mouth. And if you wanna really, if you're stepping up your workouts and you wanna really see the results, you've got to clean out what's going in the mouth. And when you have a proper exercise program in place, which a lot of people have no idea what that even means, uh, once you have that in place and you clean out, uh, eat whole foods, wholesome foods closest to their natural form, you're gonna become a natural fat burning machine. Okay, and that's, that's the lifestyle, and that's when you feel great and you look great. And what's better than that, right, you guys? Um, and if you are looking in the Danbury area and you have, you're looking to step up your fitness, we'd love to take the guesswork out for you. Come by the boot camp sometime. Um, but, you know, we're running out of time on the show, and I just wanted to thank you guys for tuning in. Really appreciate you tuning in. Hope you enjoyed the recipe, and have a great rest of the day.